So basically I'm using the free software that comes uh, pretty much with any Windows computer. It's called uh, my movie, sorry, Windows Live Movie Maker. And uh, then here you choose uh, uh, the format of your project, standard or widescreen. I always use wide widescreen. And then you just add videos and uh, photos. And you can choose basically anything from your computer, either pictures or photos. Today I'm doing this uh, uh, I think in this one, because it's a pretty big file. But you see, I am at my flip video. I can choose a file basically from either my uh, uh, SD card in the computer or the, from the main disk. But I always, you know, move vids from my camera so the computer remembers that's that's the location, right? And uh, let's say these are all the vids I used for to make those uh, truck movies. These are small, uh, like five, six second. Uh, small vids I you know I, I, I did shooting each each particular truck and then I combined them but for now what's this uh, you see I checked the date when it was made yeah it was today okay so I click on this and as you can see the vid is being uh, uh, transported and then at the bottom here you will see this little preparing video so normally when the file size of this, like see, seven, seven and a half minutes, it's gonna take a long time. But, uh, what the heck, don't play it yet. And, uh, well, well, the video is almost done, as you can see here, preparing video. The grain bar is almost all the way to the right. And when it disappears, that's why we can stop working with the video. And of course, the bigger the size, the longer it takes. Okay, I think now it's now it's ready. So next thing I do, I make sure that there's no. Oh, I see something is wrong. Does wanna play? Hmm. So when this happens, what I do, I just basically uh, erase the video, remove, and then go back and add this same video. And when you when you add it for the second time, you don't have to wait because it's already it's already see <laughs> something is wrong here. I apologize, I think I have to reboot the computer. Okay, so I close the application, open it again, and then I uh, reloaded the video. And the first thing I do usually I just check to make sure that the uh, first and last frames are you know, not awkward looking. You see like here I'm, I have my eyes closed. So just start it, make a pause, go to edit, and I set the starting point over here. So you see now I just start talking right there. And then at the very end, just make sure that again there's no uh, awkward moments. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We'll just do it like this. Then I go to home, and let's say I want to put the title here. Uh, I, I don't know why that Seago typeface is always there. I like this one. Change size, make it big and nice. Let's see. We're gonna call it using. Come on. That's what this movie is all about. Then I can play with this little thing here. And uh, I don't like when it just appears like this. See, if I click, it just appears, you know, like it uh, becomes bigger, right? I don't like that, so I go here. I like this one. See? <laughs> and now I can play with this thing. Let's say I want to make it adjust it to the left. Like this. Right. Make some kind of a margin there. Now it looks good. Now we can test it. Or maybe change the color make it uh, let's say bright blue oh, see now it become it uh, starts looking 
more professional. Now, of course, we need music because everybody knows that with music things became a bit livelier, right? So we go here and let's say I want to play to make sure this is the right one. Uh, just increase the uh, volume. No, that's not that's not the right one. Okay, how about uh, I think this one? Yeah, this one. All right. I like this one. Out to C, but of course it's too long. Now we double click on this and we do a fade in. Uh, maybe fast to fade in, fast to fade out. That will give me some. Uh, uh, but let's see how long is this piece. Okay, beautiful. Uh, so this piece is seven seconds. Okay, so what we do here, we make this shorter we make it 7.5 boom now look what happens now we have the beginning of the movie Howdy. Uh, yeah then you see it becomes uh, kind of the music becomes softer that's what fade fades out is all about right and then once we're in the back we do the same thing we add uh, let's say credit uh, we increase the change the font to light 48 boom well that's a bit too big make it 36 Here we can add the music. Uh -oh. Well, it's still a bit slow because there's a, it's a huge file, right? So I'm just gonna just gonna start the music somewhere from here. Add music, and I find that it's always uh, the best thing is to add the same music at the end, you know. And then here again, I do a fade in, maybe maybe medium. And fade, uh, fade out, make, well, let's make it fast. So that's just how fast uh, the music loses volume or picks up volume. And that's it. Now look what happens. Oh, Sergey. See, that's it. Now we go back to home. Now we have to save the movie. And I have a whole bunch of formats here. Uh, I don't think you can see them, but uh, basically, when the movie is long, I choose 360p by uh, 1000. Uh, let's call it global, and we we'll just save it. And when it's a when it's a big file, it takes a while. So I'm gonna pause the recording here, and we'll continue once once it's done. Well, the movie is done. I see the name here, right? So I don't want to open it. I just want to close everything. And it says, do you want to save? No. And then basically, I know that it's all my uh, videos are in this uh, folder. And uh, global. Now what we do here, we just check. You see the size, 61.5 megabytes. Uh, 7 minutes, 41 seconds. I just want to know that uh, in order to uh, kind of anticipate how long it's going to take uh, to uh, to upload this thing, you know. Oh, people are leaving me comments, new messages, upload, select files. Now, of course, I'm going to this uh, video folder. I know it's global, and that's it. And uh, this is about phones, so I'm going to change it to maybe science and technology, you know. Just change the title uh, using the Casio Ravine 2 Global Phone in Canada. Um, 
a description how I managed to survive the GSM switch. <laughs> and we put some uh, tags, I don't know, Canada, mobile, uh, what is this? Canada Earth. I don't need this. Canada mobile phone. Okay, so we're in two trucker trucking trucks. What the heck? Freeway highway USA Ontario. Russia, just in case someone from Okay, let's put Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal. You never know, right? And that's it. Advanced settings are today. Video location was uh, Cambridge, Ontario. Search. Yeah, I think it found it. And that's it. So now, see, it's of course it's gonna take a long, long time. I'm sitting here at the at the coffee shop with free Wi-Fi so hopefully my internet will be okay if not I'm gonna use my uh, mobile Wi-Fi spot which is much faster uh, it's the one I got from uh, Bell I mentioned this in the video and that's how I make uh, most movies of course you can always add uh, some uh, transitioning effects but this was just one file not not a collection of files if I had a collection of files I could use uh, some you know anime animation effects which is all available in the uh, Windows Movie Live Maker. All in all, it's great software, and the best part is it's free. Thanks for watching. This was Sergey Drachev from uh, Cambridge, Ontario.